the problem 2.776. The end of the coaxial cable A is attached to the pole AB, which is strengthened by the guide wires AC and AD. Knowing that the tension in wire AC is 120 pounds, determine exercise A, the components of the force extended by this wire on the pole, and exercise B, the angles theta x, theta y, and theta c that the force forms with the coordinate axis. So this uh, problem is about vectors in 3D, in three dimensions. And what we need to do first is to read again the problem in order to identify what they are asking us to calculate. So let's read again the problem. Uh, we can see the end of the coaxial cable A. This is the coaxial cable A, is this one. If yeah, I can draw it, is this one. This is the coaxial cable A. It's attached to the pole AB. This is the pole AB, which is strengthened by two wires that will be the guide wires AC and AD. This is a cable AC, and this is another cable AD. And, and knowing that the tension in wire AC is 120 pounds, they are giving us the, uh, the magnitude of the tension in wire AC is 120 pounds. That will be the magnitude of the vector. So the magnitude, we can draw it like this, T as tension. I can, I can put a variable T as tension. The tension of the cable or the wire, so the wire AC, equals 120 pounds, all right? So that will be the magnitude of the, of the tension. So determine, okay, after that, uh, determine exercise eight, the components of the force extended by this Y on the pole. Uh, they are asking us to calculate the components of the force of a vector in, in 3D, in three dimensions, extended by this wire. Which wire? The wire AC, because they are giving us the information of that, of that wire. So uh, they are asking us uh, the components we need to uh, read very careful this uh, statement. And the components of the force, the components of the force in 3D, in three dimensions, the force extended by this wire on the pole. So that they are talking about a, a force that is extended by the cable AC on the pole. So first we need to draw that vector in 3D. That vector will be uh, a force that will be in 3D dimensions. It will be of the cable AC. So we need to read very carefully this statement. The force extended by this wire on the pole. The wire is AC. This is the wire AC. So the force extended by this wire on the pole we, it will be this one. We need to draw, to draw it, to draw it. Let me draw it. This will be the force extended by this wire on the pole in this direction. Why? Because depending on the position in C, it will be the direction of the force extended by this wire, the wire AC on the pole. So this is the, this is the vector in 3D. If we, if we draw it, this will be the, the vector of the cable AC, if we can draw it in, in three dimensions. So they are asking us to calculate uh, the, the three components, the components of this vector in three dimensions. Uh, a vector in 3D, uh, in 3D or three, three dimensions, has a component in the x axis, the y axis, and the c and the c axis. So they are asking us to calculate those. And and um, I need to say that in, in the book, 
the author of the book uh, uh, says uh, writes a, a, a F instead of a T, but it's the same. I'm going to draw it as a T, but you can you can change the variable, whatever you want. So that will be a vector in in, in 3D. So we have a vector in 3D. So they are asking us to calculate the component, the components of that force, of that wire. Therefore, we don't care about the this wire AD. In this exercise, we don't care about it. They 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 put it uh, in order to uh, to do it in uh, in another problem in another exercise. But in this case, in, in this problem 2.77 cable AD, uh, we don't care about about that wire. Therefore, we can just uh, erase it. We don't. Uh, we can just erase the data of this wire in order to uh, analyze just uh, the wire they are, they are asking us to calculate. So that that is the vector in three D. So we have a vector in 3D and a vector in 3D uh, has three components that will be the, a component in the X direction, in the Y direction and the Z direction. So we are going to decompose this vector in, in, in those components. So we have a vector in 3D we are going to uh, decompose this vector in 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 two in two components. One component will be uh, like in this direction. In order to have this this direction of this vector, we will have a vertical component down and another component in this direction. One will be the the component in the y direction that will be the y component of the vector in 3D. That, that is one thing that they are asking us to calculate. And the and the other component will be in the plane. In the plane in the x c axis. So uh, let's write it. So we have a uh, a vertical component and we can write it like this this will be the component of the vector of the wire AC in the y direction and if we um, and if we uh, apply if we extend uh, this uh, the C axis, we can see that the C axis goes throughout this uh, direction, right? This will be the plane in the in the A X C plane. So as we can see, this will be the plane in the X C axis so this will be the plane in this in those uh, axes so this will be the uh, the component of this vector in 3d in this plane so i will i will call it uh, the component of the vector in 3d of the a of the cable ac in the x c plane I would call it uh, a variable the book doesn't doesn't write it like this uh, the, the book has uh, does it in another way but it's the same so uh, as we can see we have uh, this vector in 3d and we are going to decompose we decompose it in 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 two components that will be one vertical and another uh, 
component that is between in the between the x and c plane so we can uh, write it in, in in two dimensions in order to calculate uh, some things because for example uh, we already know that this 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 vector has a magnitude of, of 120 pounds We don't have uh, uh, the direction, but we have the magnitude. Uh, so uh, we can write it in, in two dimensions. Uh, I will write it right, right here. Imagine that we have uh, that that triangle in, in two dimensions, it will be uh, this one. Uh, this 60 degrees will be this 60 degrees. Uh, this will be the point A. This will be the point B. Uh, the, I will. That was a an ugly B. That this will be B, and this will be C. So we have the vector in 3D. We have this one, and, and we decompose uh, into two vectors, one right here and another right here. So. Uh, we have uh, uh, the magnitude of, of, of that cable AC that will be uh, the magnitude of the vector in 3D of the wire AC will be 120 pounds. Uh, and we uh, decompose this vector in two components in one in the one I call it in the uh, TACY so I will I will write it T A C Y and T A C in the component of the of the force of the cable AC in the X C plane. So uh, as we can see, if we draw this uh, triangle, as we can see, we form a right triangle. This will be 90 degrees. We can apply uh, trigonometrical or trigonometric uh, functions relations in order to calculate. Um, these components that they are asking us to calculate the components of the of that of that force in 3D in three dimension. So uh, as we can see, this is a right triangle. We have a, an angle, and we have a, a magnitude that will be the hypotenuse of that triangle. We can say that I, we can say that I will write in blue. Uh, I can say that sine. Sine of 60 degrees equals what is sine of an of an angle? It will be the the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. No, so what is the opposite opposite uh, side of this angle of 60 degrees? It will be the the y component of the vector in 3D. That will be TACY. It will be T. TSC y divided over the magnitude the or that will be the ma the magnitude of the vector or the hypotenuse hypotenuse and what is the hypotenuse it will be the magnitude of the vector 
it will be TAC. So uh, from these equations, uh, and TAC is 120 pounds, we are going to uh, isolate TACY. And here, as we can see, uh, the TAC is dividing. We are going to pass it as multiplying, but we need to be careful about the sign. So, for example, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pass it multiplying, but we need to be careful. I will write it as TACY. We need to be careful because um, the component in Y it will be negative. Why Y is going to be uh, negative? Because it. Uh, the y component in this vector in 3D is pointing the negative, uh, the negative y axis. If we extend the y axis, this is the positive side, the positive side of the y axis. If we extend the 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 axis, the y axis, this is the origin. The point B is the origin that will be the the point where is 0 x, 0 y, 0 c, and this will be um, below that. It will be the uh, the negative. It will be the negative y axis. Therefore, as the vector is pointing the negative, the negative uh, y axis, the component will be negative. Therefore, it will be. Uh, minus the component TAC that will, that will be 120 pounds or oh, this 120 pounds times sine of 60 degrees Uh, so we are going to substitute the data. So the the y component of that vector will be minus. We put a parenthesis. So it will be minus 120 pounds sine. Of 60 degrees. So uh, we take uh, the calculator. I'm going to use the calculator and I'm going to calculate that component. Uh, that operation will be minus 120 pounds times sine of 60 degrees. It will be minus 100. And three point ninety two thirty pounds. That will be the Y component of the vector in three D. That will be one of the things that they are asking us to calculate. So we need to calculate the component in X and the component in Z. This will be an answer. An answer. So, uh, so uh, we apply sine of 60 degrees to this right triangle. We can apply also co cosine of in, in this in this triangle. So what happens when I uh, when we apply cosine? We're going to determine the the value of this variable that I call it uh, TAC in the the component the, the, the component of the force in the XC plane. So uh, we are going to apply cosine so we can say that cosine we can say that cosine of 60 degrees going to grab it right here equals to uh, the adjacent side 
divided by the hypotenuse. Therefore, uh, what is the adjacent side? Is the side that is uh, united with the angle that is not the hypotenuse. So it will be this side, PC. It will be the adjacent side that will be the this variable T that will be the component of the force TAC in the X C plane divided by uh, the hypotenuse that will be TAC. And in this equation, we isolate TAC X. In this case, uh, we don't consider the sign of, of this because this this arrow that will be TACXC is mixed between the X axis and the C axis. We don't have a definite uh, direction of the of the force, so we uh, we still we don't uh, consider it the sign. So we are going to isolate this equation and we are going to say that uh, T T A C X C equals to this is the pyrin. This is the pyrin uh, passes multiplying it will be T A C Uh, times cosine of 60 degrees. Uh, therefore, we have that the component of the vector AC in the XC plane, it will be uh, the value of the vector that will be 120 pounds. cosine times cosine of 60 degrees so if we perform this uh, operation in the calculator we can see that is 120 pounds times cosine of 60 degrees it will be 60 60 pounds this will be this component the value of this component now we have a, uh, this vector in 3d uh, as we can see uh, this component can also uh, be decomposed again in order to de uh, determine the x component and the y component uh, of this force in three dimensions so if we decompose this uh, this vector, because as we can see, if we uh, first we uh, we had this uh, this vector, no, this vector in three D, we decompose it into vectors. If we put it like a, a light uh, up upper in the uh, in this position, we can see that the shadow that that the shadow of this component uh, sticks in the floor. This will this will be the floor. The floor will be the uh, this uh, this plane that will be the x c plane. So this co this vector can uh, be decomposed in, in 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 its components it will be this therefore with this um, this vector in 3d we have an x we have an x uh, we have an x component that will be this one let me write it 
the mid drawing with if we decompose uh, this vector it will have uh, one component in the x uh, direction another and another component in this other direction we we are seeing in this case we are seeing this uh, in the floor so we have a um, We will have uh, if we decompose this blue vector in, the, in these other two components, uh, we will have the x component of that vector and the c component of that vector. We will have uh, I will write it here. The the x the x component of the vector ac. This will be this one. And this will be the the C component of that vector, and we can draw it this other triangle uh, in, in two dimensions in order to identify what we have. So I'm going to erase this uh, this data. We don't we don't uh, need it any longer anymore so if we um, if we uh, draw this uh, this triangle that is on the floor of the xc or the plane xc we will we will have uh, this uh, this triangle And as we can see, where we can see, since it's in the floor, it will be also a right triangle. Uh, we uh, we cannot see, but this will be a uh, ninety degrees. This will be 90, 90 degrees. And this uh, we're going to uh, draw the the components. I'm going to draw it in in green. Uh, this will be the, or maybe in blue, but this in blue, this will be the, this component, this vector, TACXC, that we calculate, and we are going to decompose this one into two little vectors. Yeah, go. I'm going to write it the same colors in order to be more didactic. It will be one in this direction and another in this direction. So uh, this 20 degrees, it will be this other 20 degrees. This 20 degrees. De degrees. Uh, this will be the component the TAC XC that equals uh, 60 pounds and this will be the the X component of the force Of the vector AC, and this will be the C component. So, uh, as we can see again, we have a right triangle, and we can uh, apply uh, trigonometrical functions in order to determine the components TACX and TACC. So in this right triangle, I can say that uh, cosine. I can say that cosine of twenty degrees equals to what is cosine of an angle, uh, the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So the 
what is the adjacent side of this triangle? It will be TACX. So it will be TACX that will be the 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 adjacent side that that is the uh, the side that is united with the angle that is not the hypotenuse. That will be this this side, the adjacent TACX. Divided by the hypotenuse, that will be uh, TAC, TAC X C, or, or divided by 60 pounds. No? And we are going to isolate the X component of the vector that they are asking us to calculate. So uh, this is the this is the binding, the TAC X passes as multiplying. But we are going to be careful with the sign. Uh, when we are calculating the Y component, the X component, and the C component, we need to be very careful about the sign. And we are going to determine the sign uh, based on the on this picture that we just draw. So, in this case, the component. The, the x component of this vector will be positive. Why? Because uh, this is the positive side of the x axis, and the and TACX is pointing that direction. Therefore, it is positive. So uh, we're going to write it, and I'm going to see that TACX will be positive because this component is pointing the positive side of the x axis that's it it's because of that so it will be tac x c times cosine of 20 degrees. Uh, the book does set a little faster. It, uh, the book, uh, the author, I guess, Peter, I don't know, the author of the book uh, does it in another form. Uh, it doesn't introduce this variable. Uh, he introduced um, introduce this operation. Instead of this variable, he says, ah, okay, it will be 120 pounds cosine of 60 degrees cosine of 20 degrees or oh, that is the same as 60 de 60 pounds cosine of 20. I, I do it in this way because it's step by step the book does it a little more uh, faster and sometimes you don't uh, you don't get why he does it that fast. Why he says cosine of 60 degrees times cosine of 20 degrees? Well, he does it because we have uh, the adjacent cosine of 60 degrees. That will be this component. Cosine of 20, that will be right now the, this, the X component. So uh, this variable we already calculated is 60 pounds. 60 pounds. times cosine of 20 degrees. So the, comp the x component of the vector in three dimensions will be uh, 60 times cosine of 20 degrees. And this is positive because it's, uh, it's pointing the positive side of the x-axis. This will be 56 point 16 pounds. 
And again, the book does it uh, uh, in another way. He does it that, ah, I want to calculate the x component of this. It will be uh, the magnitude 120 pounds cosine of 60 degrees cosine of 20 degrees. All in one operation. But it's the same because I, I am introducing this uh, interme intermediate uh, variable in order to do it step by step. That will be this component when we decompose this 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 vector into and another uh, and this vector in order to in order to calculate the components uh, of the force. In this case, uh, when we decompose this uh, this vector in three dimensions, we decompose one in the y. One will be vertical. We will have one vertical, and another in order to complete uh, the vector has to have a uh, another uh, component that is pointing pointing in that direction. And in this component, it also decomposes into into the into the vectors into the axis one will be in this axis that will be the x axis axis and another will be other in the c axis so we already calculated the x component of this vector the y component of the vector uh, we need to uh, calculate the c component in and we are going to calculate from this triangle so i'm going to uh, erase uh, this part uh, we applying cosine of 20 degrees we can say now sine of that angle I'm going to erase uh, uh, this part also and also this part we already know that the component of that force is uh, 120 pounds the, the magnitude of that force is 120 pounds. I'm going to write it in, in blue. So I'm going to say in this triangle, I can say that sine to, the, to this triangle, to this right triangle, sine, sine of 20 degrees. What is sine of an angle? It will be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. What is the opposite side of this triangle? It will be the C component of the vector in 3D. So it will be TAC C. Divided by the value of the hypotenuse that will be TAC XC. TAC X C. So we are going to isolate, they are asking us to calculate the C component of that vector. Uh, so uh, we are going to isolate this equation for TAC C. And this is the Biden, this is the Biden passes as uh, multiplying this equation. And we need to be very careful about the sign of the C component. As we can see uh, from the picture, this component, this is the origin, this is the negative side of the C axis, and since the, the arrow, the, the, the C component of the vector AC is pointing the negative side of the C axis, uh, the component is negative. So we are going to manually put that sign. So we are going to put it uh, like this. We are going to say that the, uh, the C component of the vector AC equals to minus because is po this component is pointing this, uh, the negative side of the C axis minus uh, TAC. X C 
times sign sign of 20 degrees and what is this value this value we already calculated we calculated that was 60 pounds so it will be this the c component of that vector it will be minus minus 60 pounds times sine of 20 degrees and again uh, the book does it in another way it doesn't put 60 pounds he put it he put it like uh, 100 100 pounds uh, times cosine of 60 degrees times sine of 20 degrees and he, he mixes cosine and sine and there will be that it will be this cosine that will be this component that is between those those uh, axes and the y component it will be the other and the other component will be this one that will be the sine of 20 degrees so it will be cosine of 60 degrees sine of 20 degrees but it's the same uh, we're doing the same way is we're going to reach the same answer so uh, in this case if we perform this operation it will be uh, minus if we perform this calculation in the calculator and we're going to do it and the answer is minus 20 point 52 12 pounds uh, in a moment we're going to check it uh, in the in, in the book the answers in the book in order to identify that we don't uh, we don't make a mistake so that's it uh, for the exercise a a we calculate uh, these three components that will be very helpful i will pull it i will put it uh, right here i will copy this answer in the c component because it is going to help us in the in the next exercise so uh, let's read uh, the we finish the components the components of the forces of the wire it was three three components x y and c and we calculate x y and c okay so in uh, we uh, finish this part so uh, the exercise b tells about to calculate the angles of theta x theta y and theta c that the force forms with the coordinate axis uh, to do exercise B, we need to uh, know the theory about directional cosines uh, that says that that has a, a meaning. Uh, we're going to discuss it. Uh, we're, let me erase this part. I'm going to erase. Uh, yeah, we don't need this part. Just the value of those components. Going to write it right here and this part right here i'm going to erase that so um what says the uh, i'm going to erase this part what say um i'm going to write it in red um what says the directional cosines the directional cosine says that the cosine of the angle theta, theta x of the, or, or, or the direction of the angle in the x direction uh, equals equals to um, the x component of the vector 
in 3D. That will be TACX. It will be the X component of the vector in three dimensions divided by the value, the magnitude of the vector. That is uh, the definition. Uh, so we, uh, and we just calculate the X component of that vector. Uh, and the magnitude we already, uh, they are giving us the value of the vector that will be 120 pounds. So, um, they are giving us uh, that magnitude, 120 pounds, it will be this value. So, since we have two values, we can isolate this equation. And we can say that the cosine of the angle in the x direction of that vector, it will be the, uh, the this component, 56. Point thirty eight sixty pounds that will be that uh, component divided by the magnitude of the vector that will be one hundred and twenty pounds. It will be this one. This will be the value divided by one hundred and twenty pounds. And they are asking about theta x now. So, and this is an equation with just one variable, this. So we can isolate this equation, this trigonometrical equation. So we're going to isolate this one. This is cosine, passes as arc cosine, or cosine to the minus one is the same. So it will be theta x equals arc Are cosine of or will be cosine to the minus one is the same uh, 56 point 38 in the calculators they don't say uh, arc cosine it says cosine to the minus one but it's, it's the same it's just the uh, how you write it how you write it uh, divided by 120 and this is pounds and this is pounds and and as we can see we have uh, uh, I'm going to draw it uh, nicely yeah. we have pounds uh, up and and pounds down we have pounds multiplying uh, divided by pounds uh, cancels uh, out the units so we have the units of uh, degrees so we have that if we perform this uh, operation in the calculator we have that theta x equals to and as we can see well uh, let's do it in the calculator 56 point 3816 divided by 120 and then our cosine 61.9757 degrees so that will be the uh, the value of of theta x. Uh, this value means that from the uh, I'm going to write it here in green from from the positive side of the x-axis to the vector in 3D. To the vector. To the vector in 3D, there is uh, there is an angle that will be this one called theta x and equals to um, 
57 degrees and this is a little ugly uh, imagine that is an angle this will be the angle theta x that is uh, from the positive side of the x-axis to the vector there is an angle theta x that equals 62 degrees there is 62 degrees from that from that positive side of the x-axis of that vector so we calculate theta x uh, let's calculate theta y and we can say that uh, from directional cosines we say that going to write it uh, here in green cosine we can say that cosine of theta y equals to the y component of the vector in 3D the y component of the vector in three dimensions divided by the magnitude of the vector this is the formula in the in the case of the book instead of t it, it says f it will be f y divided by f very the same now I can say uh, in the book I can say that that f equals TAC. No, the book says that TAC is f is the same. So uh, we can say that cosine of theta y will be the the y component of the vector AC. That will be this value. We are recalculated from the last exercise it will be minus 103.923 pounds divided by the magnitude of the vector that will be 120 pounds and we have an equation we are going to isolate the equation for uh, theta y of theta yeah of the of this angle in the y direction so uh, this is cosine passes as arc cosine the same so theta y equals arc cosine arc cosine of uh, this division I'm going to write uh, here minus 103.923 pounds divided by uh, 120 pounds and we close parenthesis and as we can see pounds with pounds cancel out and we can see that uh, theta y it will be this operation we can do it in the calculator uh, so you are doing in the calculator I also do point ninety two thirty one hundred arco cosine and since we can see that this negative and uh, this uh, the arco cosine of a uh, negative negative value it will be a a a value uh, a an angle greater than ninety degrees by the definition of arc of cosine uh, so we do this operation in the calculator this angle is 150 degrees uh, this tells us that uh, if, uh, that from the 
positive side of the y-axis to the vector there is an angle of 150 degrees uh, we can see it because uh, we cannot see it because we have it right here but if we extend this vector in 3d uh, let's let's extend it uh, this vector tac we extend it below the floor it will be this one no? uh, so so no uh, i'm going to uh, draw it bigger below the flow the the, the will be uh, the this vector uh, the, the same vector if we uh, translate that vector we are uh, moving this vector below the floor it says that from I'm going to grab to grab it here from the uh, from the y uh, from the positive side of the y-axis to this vector ah, I, I have this arrow let me write it as pencil uh, from the positive side of the y-axis to the vector it will be an angle an angle of theta y that equals 150 degrees and, uh, and as we can see uh, uh, from here to here is uh, 100, 180 degrees and we have 150 so that's why we have this long distance this will this another angle will be 30 degrees but uh, that will be uh, that will be the other angle in order to complete the 180 degrees but we calculate uh, theta y now. so we are going to calculate uh, theta c so uh, we're going to uh, say that cosine of theta c it will be uh, equals to uh, the c component of the vector in three dimensions the c component the, that, is, that is the ac divided by the magnitude of the vector in 3D so we we calculate this data we have this value and we have this value from the from the beginning of the exercise so uh, cosine we can say that cosine of, of theta x equals to TACC that will be this value minus 20 minus 20.52 20 52.12 pounds divided by the magnitude of the vector that will be 120 pounds 120 pounds so we're going from this equation isolate for theta c so um, we're going to erase this part we don't uh, need it any longer um, so we can say that theta c Uh, we can say that theta c will be a co cosine arc cosine of that division minus 20 point 52 12 Fifty to twelve pounds divided by one hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, 
and we can see that uh, pounds with pounds uh, cancel out and we have degrees so but I see equals this operation that we can do in the calculator and uh, give me a second uh, to calculate divide by 120 this operation are cocosine uh, as we can see this, uh, this this division is a negative value and the arc cosine of a negative value it will be a angle that is greater than 90 degrees so this value is 99.8465 degrees that will be the C component of the uh, this value means that uh, from the C component, from this, from this value, from this uh, axis to the vector, from this, from the positive side, this is the positive side of the C of the C axis. From the positive side of the C axis to the vector, there is an angle. So this angle there is an angle that is called theta C. And this angle uh, equals this value 99 is is greater than 90 degrees as we can see uh, 99 this is a 9 or oh, will be 100 degrees now if we round it no? but it's 99.8465 degrees as we can see uh, uh, this this is because well uh, this vector is below now, but we can see it that uh, from here passes the 90 degrees because from here, from here to here there is uh, 90 degrees. No, this this is uh, this is uh, 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 an angle of 90 degrees. So it, if we see it from below, it passes the 90 degrees and is 99 in order to reach this vector that will be the same this vector that will be the same as this vector so uh, we have this data uh, we are going to uh, check it with a book and we are going to discuss uh, what the book does it different that does it that that will be the same so we are going to check it uh, have my note so this is okay. And uh, this is okay. And the C component. And there I see ninety nine. Yeah. So I'm going to erase it. Uh, all uh, I'm going to erase all and we're going to check it with the book okay in the book uh, we uh, we can see that uh, F calls it T that will be TAC it was the same and the X component will be uh, the 120 pounds that will be the magnitude cosine of 60 degrees that will be this component that we draw it cosine of 20 that's why the book does it faster but still uh, in the x component we get it uh, 56.3816 and this uh, the author rounds it to three significant digits so it will be 56.38 uh, and again, uh, the book uh, rounds it again to one uh, decimal point, so it will be 56.4. That will be uh, the same that we calculate. The y component it will be negative because we uh, we uh, said that the 
the Y component is put it uh, below uh, below the vector in 3D uh, sine of 60 degrees that will be this one it will be that component and we calculate that was uh, when we calculate it was minus 103.92 uh, 30 pounds that will be uh, the same as we can see 92 3 pounds and it still uh, it still uh, the out uh, the book uh, still runs it uh, the final answer to one decimal point point nine is okay we calculate we got that answer uh, this the C component we calculate that was um, minus 20.5212 and this is minus uh, 20.521 that is the same and again uh, the C component is negative because we, we draw it that was in that, that direction uh, and it will be cosine of 60 degrees sine of 20 degrees no? that will be that component uh, and again, uh, we got that answer. And for exercise B, uh, we calculate that uh, theta x it will be 61.9757 degrees. That will be 62 degrees. And here you go. Here you go. We have 62 degrees. Uh, the problem, the the author uh, runs it that that value. The uh, the theta uh, y it will be uh, 150 uh, degrees that we calculate and the other was uh, almost uh, uh, 100 degrees that will be 99.8465 and this will be this one that we calculate so it will be the x component the y component and the c component that we calculate that will be these two these three values so we, as we can see, we don't have a mistake. We calculate just that.